By the end of this video, you will have your Oracle database nicely set up on Oracle Cloud and that too for free. What's up, Renet? I am Manish from RebellionRider.com. Let's learn how to configure Oracle database on Oracle Cloud for free. Without wasting much of your time, let's start. The easiest way to log into your Oracle Cloud account is to click on Sign into Oracle Cloud button that you have received in the email when you set up your Oracle Cloud. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch the video where I have shown how to set up a free Oracle Cloud account. Link is on your screen as well as in the description. Okay, here we are. Let me sign in. Done. As you can see, the interface is very intuitive and you can access almost everything for free. Anyways, let's install Oracle Database. To install Oracle Database on our Oracle Cloud platform, we need to click on this Create an ATP Database Quick Action. After that, you will be presented with the Create Autonomous Database page, like this. Before you do anything here, first come down to this Configure the Database section and turn on this radio button that says always free. Doing this will disable all the options that are not included in the free tier and will prevent you from accidentally choosing them. Now come back to the top of the page. Here we have three fields, compartment, display name and database name. Among these three, the first one is already being populated with the name which we have configured during the setup of Oracle Cloud account. In my case, it's obviously Rebellion Writer which is also the name of my website. The other two fields are also already populated, but we can change these names according to our preference. For this demonstration, I will change these names to Oracle Database 19C. Next comes the workload type. Here we have four options. From these four, select the second one, which is transaction processing which also happens to be selected by default. Deployment type. Here you have only one option, shared infrastructure, which is already selected. Configure the database. Now comes the database configuration. Here we have already turned on the always free radio button. Next, we have to choose the database version. Unfortunately, we have only one option available in this Oracle Cloud free tier, and that is 19C. I was looking forward to get my hands on Oracle Database 21C, which is the latest offering. Anyways, I'm hoping to have it available soon. Also, with free Oracle Cloud account, we got only one core of the CPU, and it's not adjustable, and only 20 GB of the storage. I guess it is plenty for you to learn Oracle Database on cloud, or to deploy initial version of your app. And then there is this auto-scaling checkbox which is also disabled. But don't worry, if you want to know how to manage the Oracle database, then I suggest you to follow my Armin backup and recovery series. Okay, now we have to create a password for the admin user of the Oracle database 19C that we are configuring right now on Oracle Cloud. Set up whatever password you want, just make sure to comply with these rules. Save this password down somewhere because we will be needing this in establishing connection with the client. Mm, network access. Now comes the network access. Again, we have only one option available, which is secure access from everywhere. If you want to devise some rules for your access, then you can check this box. But for the demonstration, I'm good with the default one. And here comes the license. Here again, we have one option that is already selected. Unfortunately, we cannot have boil option available. The free tier is not that flexible, but I guess for the purpose of practicing Oracle Cloud, it will work. Okay, next we have to provide the maintenance contact. If you want to add any, just press this button and enter the email address of the contact. Since this installation is purely for practicing purpose, so I'm not going to provide any maintenance contact here. Now, the only thing which is left is to press this Create Autonomous Database button. Let's do that. Okay, 
your free Oracle Database 19C is installed on your Oracle Cloud. It's going to take some time and after that, it will be ready for you to use. Just wait for a second. Yes, now it's available for us to use. That's how we set up Oracle Database 19C on Oracle Cloud for free. Hope you enjoyed watching. If so, then give this video a thumbs up, otherwise a thumbs down. But make sure to comment and let me know what part of the tutorial you enjoyed the most. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon to get notified every time I upload such awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from RebellionRider.com.